And joining us is the producer of The Edge of Never, Peter Schweitzer, who is also senior producer of CBS program 48 Hours, and a scream, extreme skiing legend, Glenn Plake. The hair's got me all tongue-tied, dude. Yeah. All right, very good. Nice to a see real you. One, Harry. Really good, really good to see you. Got to, got to wear it up on a day like today. I have to. First, explain <laughs> Trevor Peterson and what kind of guy he was and what he meant to, to this sport. He was uh, a great guy. Loved, loved skiing. Loved, uh, loved uh, the mountains. You know, I mean, so many people's in, uh, interpretation of the sport is, is ski area based. Ours is not. All we need is a mountain with some snow on it. And Trevor, uh, you know, uh, really, really loved being out in the mountains. Yeah. What did it mean then to go back to his kid? Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing we see these, you know, pictures of him doing stunts and having a degree of facility, and mm -hmm. say, we're going to go back to this place. Mm -hmm that took the life of your father. And this is a kind of skiing that's not taught inside the ropes. No, it's so true. Um, I never really, it wasn't a destiny that, that I felt Kai should, to, should ski this, but I knew uh, you know, the, foot, the, the path that he was taking was ultimately gonna lead him there. And uh, I wanted to be uh, uh, able to maybe help him along the way there. I mean, the, the time of him skiing that run was gonna come eventually in his life. And this uh. was a, an opportune time to uh, to help him do that. Right. Why did you make this movie? Uh, you know, um, I love great stories. And when, uh, when Glenn said, you know, if you want to make a movie about the heart and soul of skiing, you got to go get Trevor Peterson's kid, because mm. he's ready at age 15 to, to go and ski the run that killed his dad. Right. I said, wow, I mean, that's, a, that's an epic archetypal story. Sure. And the kid is amazing. And the interesting thing is that he is uh, so he grew he grew up in the mountains. He grew up skiing every day, so he is totally comfortable uh, being in these extreme situations. And like you saw in the end of that beautiful piece you did, he can stand he can sit on the edge of a unbelievable precipice, and he's as comfortable as could be. The same way for you and me, it's like. You don't have any problem walking down the streets of New York. This kid can go places we do not want to go. Why do you do what you do? Uh, just a bit of uh, nostalgia, actually. Um, steep skiing has, was started in the in the fifties, and uh, it's continued to grow. The game hasn't changed a lot. You still got to climb the mountains. You still got to ski the steep places. It's not something that's done by everybody. Fortunately, it's an all ages show. We can take a, you know. Kai's now in his in his early 20s, and uh, Ansem's in his 60s, and he's still skiing full time, and I'm uh. still skiing full time, and and Fon Fon's <laughs> still guiding people full time, and and uh, it's um, it, it, like I say, it's a it's a nostalgia thing, really. It's it's what uh, it's the path that we go down, right? right? You know, as skiers. I mean, it's fun to go ride the yo-yos, but it's more fun for me to ski. With off, the, because the here's my question: Do have you have you in your life, say, in the last five years? Mm -hmm been to a ski area where you have gone up a chairlift mm -hmm. and skied down a groomed trail. I spent uh, two weeks in Pennsylvania a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, I sometimes say the smallest mountains in the world might have the, the hearts, uh, the biggest hearts. Yeah. Uh, and that's certainly, certainly true. For people who may not love this sport as much as maybe we all do, and if they're going to think about watching this movie this weekend, why should they watch it? Well, you know, it's, um, it's an emotional, personal story about people facing challenges in their life. This kid, I was fascinated by, this kid lost his dad when he was six. Wow. Now he's age 15 and he's trying to figure out, who am I, what's my destiny, who am I gonna be, what choices should I make, and how am I gonna get there? And I think we can all relate to that. We all have those moments when we're trying to figure out who are we and how do we do it. It's a nice story. I mean, this is not adrenaline fed. I don't do it so that I can uh, defy death, and none of us do. All right. Good to see you, so, man. Really appreciate it. Glenn. Take care. Peter, of you guys. Thank you. Good job. On the hill. Edge and Never on Showtime.